I'm Brett. Jake. I'm Tawanda. Helen. Bill. Not good. The table was an empty glass and a glass half full of brandy and soda. I took them both out to the kitchen and poured the half full glass down the sink. Glug, glug, glug. Don't drink it that fast. It'll make you sick. I feel tight. You ought to. That's what I, you wanted, wasn't it? Sure, get tight. Get over your damn depression. For the wine, I lost the disgusted feeling and was happy. It seemed they were such nice people. I stared into the empty ice cream carton and wondered where the smiling girl in the school pictures had gone. <laughs> Tawanda was taking over her life, and somewhere deep down, a tiny alarm bell sounded. And she knew she was in sure danger of going over the edge and never coming back. <laughs> Morning, Mrs. Threadgood. I brought goodies. Oh, hi, sweetie. She smiled at Evelyn. That's what I'm living on now, honey. Dreams. Dreams of what I used to do. Woke up this morning. <sighs> Evelyn realized that she was actually looking forward to going to the nursing home. Whistle Stop had become more of a reality than her own life with Ed in Birmingham. I felt as I felt once coming home from an out-of-town football game. I was carrying a suitcase with my football things in it, and I walked up the street from the station in the town I had lived all of my life, and it was all new. Jake, we could have had such a damn good time together. Yes, isn't it pretty to think so?